Oh, thank you very tire much. Tire whisperer. Tire whisperer. Alex Albon. Uh, yeah. How did you manage that one? Uh, I don't know, and I think we we need to do a little bit of homework as to why. Uh, reverse engineer it reverse back. Reverse engineer it back, exactly. It, it, it was strange. It always seems like that tyre, that C2 tyre, suits our car. And uh, I mean, it's they're suiting a car, and then there's then there's that where it was almost like I, I felt like I was doing qualifying laps for the last uh, 30 laps of the race. So um, it, it's pretty special. It feels like, well, I know for a fact we went into the into the into the race. You know, the strategist tells you, okay, this is our best performance. This is what we have to do to to get the best outcome. And it was 19th and 20th, and it was, you know, it wasn't pretty. It didn't look great behind P18 either. And uh, to come out P10, um, it's yeah, completely unimaginable. And uh, you know, it, it it's a very special moment. Did you know all along it was going to be last lap, or did that start to make itself clear uh, at a different point? In my head, I'm I'm, ba I'm basically doing the strategy. Um, you know, they're telling me I know my plan. I know how many laps I'm doing, supposed to be doing. And I was surprised we didn't pit. The, you know, they kept leaving me out, leaving me out, especially when we were had the You were asking to come in. No, I wasn't asking because okay. I knew we were, we, were, we were okay on pace. But I, I knew, you know, there's a VSC and safety cars. They're great times to pit. Uh, but you know, we stayed out. We stayed out. And then they basically, you know, they said in code. Well, can we go to the end? And I was like, yeah, we can, we can definitely you go to the end. said it in code. I love oh, that. In code, you know. We, we know what... I know the numbers in my head. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I didn't know how tight it would be coming out. We had a kind of a slow front left change. And it made it quite close with Zoo. But uh, here we are. Here we are. And just tell me how the car felt then. I mean, you got some mileage under your belt there. Yes. The balance has been the, the troubling part of the car for you guys. How yeah. was it this weekend? Yeah, that's it. It... it Firstly, I would have to say Q2 was on the cards this weekend. Um, if, we, if we were able to do a second lap um, on, the, on the qualifying tyre, I'm sure we would have been in Q2. So, so the balance has been getting there. We've been improving it. Um, we've been making inroads to the car. <laughs> Just come barging in. Here he is. <laughs> Why not? Just make an entrance. <laughs> oh, no. Not the hair. Not the hair. Um, oh. <laughs> Orlando, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Um, P5 for you. We're yeah. just chatting about the tyre whisperer that is Alex Albon, going all the way to the end. What are you looking at? I'm just looking, at your, you... I'm looking at your sweat marks. Doesn't is look... that a sweat or is it that... Doesn't, it, doesn't look very, it doesn't look very athletic. When you go around the corner as quick as we do. Oh, it's close to you. I could see you the whole race. <laughs> How are you doing? I mean, a hot one out there then for you guys. Um, it's quite physical. I think it's just a fast track and uh, you still have to concentrate quite a bit. It's not an easy one for, for tyres and there's quite a few walls around still uh, that you don't want to be hitting. So, but you um, enjoyed it. Insightful. <laughs> you know, just giving the fans Usually something to walls think is about. a good idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So he knows he's ready for F1. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess just a difficult race. You know, we had a lot of, quite a few problems we had to manage, which wasn't ideal. Uh, and we had decent pace in the car, so you know when you're pushing, you're always working a little bit more. Right at the start, you did seem to have a bit of trouble. Was there something bothering you at the start, or it's just not a good getaway? Um, no, just lack of grip. <laughs> a bit of wheel spin off the line. I mean, it happens. Sometimes you have good starts, sometimes slightly worse. It's, uh, it's quite simple. So today was one of the, the worst days, and um, you know last week I had the best start. So it just it always fluctuates with uh, with everyone. Uh, just today we lost up to the Mercedes, but um, they had much better pace than us anyway. So. I don't think it mattered too much. So you're going to have to write the Williams guys into the uh, potential midfield battle now? Yes. Were you there? Yes, too. How far behind Daniel were you? Well, Where'd I was, you finish? I was, I was about four seconds behind him on the last second last lap, and I had to pit for another set of tyres. Why? I did, the whole lap, I did the whole race not pitting. No way. <laughs> yeah. You should have just finished. I know, I know. I know. But I had Screw to, the roll, mate. Right? Yeah, exactly. Um, you guys have raced each other for a long time now. What is each other's sort of tricks and and uh, ways of doing things. Uh, Let us in on the secrets. Don't go near Lando after he finishes a race because he can lock up and spin. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so a good one, yeah. <laughs> that was great. It's true. It's true. I've not tried that for, I've not tried that for a while. <laughs> Let's not uh, talk. I mean, not, I've not like, won we a race either for a while. So. Race. We've not, have we? No. We did a, we did a bit a few today. years ago. That prison. wasn't a race. You were just in my mirror. No, he was... raced these guys. I haven't raced either. You haven't no. had the privilege in no, advance comments not yet. yet. Not, not yet. Not yet. Like, Hopefully not soon. Not yet. There we go. Not yet. Not yet. After a day like today, you know, Fernando will be. <laughs> <laughs>
Is he have a bad word? <laughs> yeah, he had to box twice. Why? Because he, he went on the mediums, but he did hard medium. Can I medium, ask? degged off, grained the front, and had to box again for another set of tyres. How do you know? I mean, you've literally just gone out of the car. Are you being told this all the time? Or are you just. No, I just asked uh, Harry. Oh, okay, fine. I was just checking. I was like, <laughs> you, you seem to have such amazing kind of knowledge of everyone else's no, race I think at the like, same time. No, I think because he was in our race at some point, right? I had to overtake him. And. Um, we knew he, he could be strong on the mediums and try and come back through. And the Alpine was very fast yesterday, like a lot faster than we were. Um, so we thought he might come back through. So I just asked why he didn't and where he finished up in uh, the night. It's just ask questions, you know, Get people talk. Yeah. yeah. Well, you've got points. When are you getting your podium? That's the next question. You got points? A point tenth. Finished Sorry, tenth. A point tenth. Oh, you actually finished tenth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Like, I'm not joking when I said I was like four seconds. Like, yeah, right. You finished P10. It's not April, you muppet. Well, I mean, it is. But, oh, whatever. Shut up. You guys, you're just the gift that keeps on giving. Um, do you sense now you've kind of turned over a page? No. A oh, this is like the same conversation we had in Jeddah. Well, I don't know what you want me to say. Oh, I'm not going to lie, am I? Yeah, you know, we bought a whole new car. As you can see, it's really different. And, uh, but look, this is better than when we were chatting in Jeddah, you were very Yeah, dumpy. but the thing is, if we went back to Bahrain, I'd still be P13 and qualifying, and we finished two laps down or whatever. So the car's exactly the same, which is the problem. Yeah. So a bit more reverse engineering. You've got to work out why you were where you were then maybe this week. Uh, no, I think we understand. It's just a much quicker track, much smoother, and uh, that suits the car a lot more. We can put it in a more optimum range. So, yeah. So many questions. Which track's going to suit you next, do you reckon? Have you eyed up? Alex is good at all the tracks. Oh, thank you. Well, Monaco's going to be a problem. I can, tell you that. <laughs> uh, I can tell you what doesn't suit us. Suit us is harder to say. Um, yeah, honestly, today, as I said, we, we, we came in and we, we were like, oh, we're going to finish 19th and 20th. It's just how, how far before we're going to be to P18. And we've come in 10th. Yeah. So anything can happen. I do feel like this new regulation, these new tyres, no one understands anything. Um, tyres are, people are lost. Qualifying, no one knows what to do on outlaps. That's good for us, because it, it means that there's a bit of um, space to surprise. And yeah. uh, and uh, I guess, what's the word, out-optimise? Surprise uh, and delight is where I was going. Out-optimise, huh? So out-optimise. Out-optimise. So, example. Surely if you optimise, that's just like an the best example you can would do. Be, an, an example would be, Someone went out and they, they thought that yesterday to go out and the, and the lap time was on the first push. You actually did. I did, yeah. See, that doesn't work for us. So, oh, so, so you out-optimized us. No, because it works for your car. But imagine it didn't work for your car and I did a double push and my second uh, push true. was better than yours. Yeah, we optimized then a bad optimized strategy. You. Think about it. <laughs> I think Rosanna and I are just going to walk off. I know, we're just going to like exit the stage, stage. stage left. What are you on about, man? This is wonderful. The Norris and Albon show. I'm enjoying it greatly. I'm, I'm going to enjoy it again when we all Well, thanks for coming on. Enough. Yeah, thank you so much. I'll just make who's my our, way back. Who's our next guest? <laughs> <laughs> it's been so nice being a guest Where's Fernando? I want to interview Fernando. <laughs> you want to roast him? <laughs> if you kick around, your race? That's a great He's gone, actually. Oh, I can't see him. He's not in the media pen anymore. No, um, he's, he's on the fire. If you want to stay, you can you can stay and do a little bit of analysis. No, no. I, I'm happy to go. Okay. You got a party to get to? <laughs> I've got a plane to catch. You're flying out tonight? Yes. Oh, are, you you not, are you saying you're not helping the team pack away the car and... Oh. As if you do. Are you saying you don't do that? <laughs> you saying you don't? You haven't had your picture taken underneath the car, right? Lando you? sees the unboxed camera. Is it was my camera yeah, unboxed? unboxed. He, he sees it in the distance and he sees them walking around filming stuff and then there he is, he's got his high-vis jacket yeah. on. Got rubs his hands on the tyres, make sure they look dirty. And then onto my top a bit. <laughs> exactly. Roll then, around on the ground. <laughs> Most badly the shot face. Then it's like the, here we are, I'm doing and the And one way. spanner in the hand, yeah. That's all I do. This is great. Um, right, I'm now going to uh, be told off. All right, thank you. Longer. Yeah, bye so bye. you must bye bye, head off. Uh, but thank you so much, it's been great. If you'd like to stay, do please stay. No, you've got to stay. It, ha it really has been a pleasure. Don't forget your towel. I've been rejected by Lando Norris. Uh, it's been great. Uh, travel safely onwards. Um